and now it made the cells in this column 112. Now we can type in this one too and you'll see what happens. Let's see if we can stretch this cell. And you'll notice we didn't make this column have a specific width, but since we said this, this cell had to be 225 wide, but then we said this one had to be 112. So this one only had 113 left. It couldn't stretch. It has to keep going down. If I type some more, it will stretch the cell down. Okay, so I usually don't even mess with formatting the height of a cell unless I'm looking for kind of a rare um, design. I usually just make the width a certain width and then I, I just let it expand to fit the typing of the letters that I want to put in there. So I can also go up and just hit enter and make it look like it's balanced. And there you have it. There's your box. And just for fun, let's make this guy black. Right click, table cell properties. And for that cell, we want to make the background color black. Hit OK. And then we hit OK. And now it's black. What does this page look like? Well, let's save it. File. Let's save it as, in our website folder, as the index. They ask if I want to replace it. I say yes. Now, let me open up my website folder. And when I click on the index, it's going to open the page that I can't edit. It's just going to be what the page looks like. So this is what the page looks like. You see, I'm trying to highlight things, but it won't let me edit it. So remember how I took out the border that separated in here? And this was shown as these red lines. Well, it's invisible because I made the border zero. Let's see what happens if we make the border on the whole table zero. So I click on a cell of the main table, table cell properties, go to table, and let's make this border zero. And I hit apply and you can see the border goes away. Hit OK. Now let's save this one as index two. And I want to replace that. And if I go back to my website folder, open up index two, now, the border's gone, but since there was a background of this color, sometimes you'll see these lines. It depends on what browser you use. So you just have to play with it to get the look that you want. You might, depends on what you're going for, you might want to put a black border around the whole thing. Once you play with these properties, there's really no replacement for playing with it and trying to get it to do what you want it to do. There's multiple ways to do the same thing. But when you actually play with it, you'll see how this works a little more uh, in depth and a little, it'll make more sense to you. So now I'm going to show you some examples of how we use tables on one of our websites. So you can see from a design perspective, some of the places tables come in handy. Now let me show you how we use tables at rapid4x.com. If you go to rapid4x.com, there's tables used all over the place and they may not jump out at you immediately if your eye isn't trained to see them. So if you scroll down, you may notice like wonder, you know, how do they get this text to be all nicely separated over there uh, while this text is over here? Because if you play around with the HTML editor for a little while, you'll learn that that's not an easy thing to do. And you know, how do they have this column of stuff over here? If you go down up, oh, you should spot a table right there because you can tell that that's just a box. And here's another table popping up, just this box here with a different color inside. Okay, so you scroll down and you start wondering, you know, how do they keep uh, these pictures on the side with all this text lined up nicely? And you see this box, so you suspect that that's a table. And 
how do they get the picture on the left over here with all the text nicely on the right here and you scroll down and you, every time you see a box you realize that's a table even though the, the color is really light here but it's a little bit different color if you look really hard and you keep scrolling down you see see a box so you can tell that that's a table and you see all the stuff now I've gone through and I've updated this page so that it puts a border around each table and you can see how we use tables you can see that around the edge of the whole thing that's a table and you can see the background if I make this page bigger I can scroll and show you the background on the one side let me make it bigger so on the one side it's red and on the other side it's blue and the way we did that was by taking an image that's really skinny it's one pixel wide and it goes from left to right blue over to red and then we just insert an image you're gonna learn how to do that and now let me shrink it down so you can see it and you'll notice that there's a border around the whole site and then you can see here's a table see the box here and you can see another box here and then you can see a box here box here there's no substitute for you actually creating tables like this to learn it but I can just show you how we've laid it out and this should give you some ideas now this is obviously a nice table for you I'm going to show you how to insert these sign up boxes too sign up box is just a table now there's no table here to just put text and pictures side by side you insert an image and here you can see the image is left aligned and when you do that it just puts it on the left of the text and makes the text all go around it and down here you'll see another left aligned image here's a table and we just chose to give the border a color and you'll be able to do that and here is another big table and keep in mind all these tables are inside of a huge table the table that goes from this side to this side and here is a table because we wanted to separate the book from the text so here's a table with two cells it's one row and here you'll notice we didn't do that but here we did the same technique and see right here is an example of two ways to do it you can do it with a table or you can just do it by right you know put giving the image a different alignment and here it's just a right hand aligned image and we use tables for a few of these but not for all of these and you can see it pretty much looks the same and you can see the border around this box here and you can see this is a little box here it's really faint but that's definitely a little box and you can see the border around this box and for our order links just a way to separate the information we have text and then we have a buy button and that's just by cutting and pasting into this table and we do that for all our order links and that is the end of the tables that you can see on the rapid forex website